they are pumped up for this one. This rivalry series dates back to 1898. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Number Colorado eight. is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Nebraska's coaching staff, they know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kirk. They had the crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate for the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. We'll see if all that preparation pays off. One thing we know for sure, they want to get the football into the hands of this receiver early and often if they want to win this game. Steps out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Got some open field. And they get enough for the first. What's interesting about that short run on third down is now, now they have the ability to go to play action pass and stretch out this defense. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. And they got him for a loss. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 46. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Under pressure, he goes downtown. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Armstrong awaits the snap. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. Just gets rid of it. They're about four yards away here on third down. Gets it out. He's met immediately. Loss of five on the play. Fourth down. Kinney is the punter. Booming kick. Brought down at the 38-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Here's 
a screen pass, gets it to the back. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. He fights forward to about the 46. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Run, left side. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. They'll bring him down right around the 26-yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. From their own 26-yard line. Third down. Quick throw. So the defense does their job well on that series. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but if you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, Sign me up for that every time. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Blackman is back, awaiting the punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses to just, just to dominate the game. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Played one. No score here. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. On 
the catch, and he steps out. Stanley picks up about seven on the play, and the completion is also good for a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can't ask for much more than that. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. He's got it out to his tight end. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. He passes it. That close to being intercepted. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. And they're coming after this punter. He really got a hold of that one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Makes it out to about the 30. That's a team of 10 in the day. That makes it first and 10. He gets out to about the 32 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Gets to about the 34 yard line. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. Armstrong is waiting for the snap. He's tackled at the 27. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Dumps it complete the tight end over the middle. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Standing the attention receiver for play. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and one. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He'll take it from the 18. Gets to about the 27-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he throws it away.
from their own 27 yard line. Second down. They'll make the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. So don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Third and long now after the sack. tailback and down he goes at about the 33 yard line well the defense has done their job and made a nice stand now let's see if the special teams can come up with something here as well blackman is back deep to return the punt. blackman takes it to 25 tackle the 33 yard line well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. From their own 33-yard line. Second down. Come on, oh, come on, oh. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Slings it out there incomplete. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. And he tackles him hard at the 25-yard line. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. So no luck on that drive as they go three and outs. Certainly they don't have the return on here. And this one is a beauty. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. Well, if you're a fan of old-school smash-mouth football, you got to love this one. Or if you're a fan of just sloppy offense. This has been bad for both teams. Let's see who can get things going here. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Ball start. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, And he throws it away. It's our time. It's our time. Feeds it to the back. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they make the stop at the 15-yard line. First down. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And he's taken down right around the 10-yard line. That brings him second and five. 
Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. He's on the run. They'll bring him down right around the 14-yard line. Fourth down, so the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Nebraska is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. Nebraska leads it 3-0. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard-nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast pace, up tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Blackman back to return. He's to the 20. And he just got stood up right there. Nebraska is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. And a quick throw, and he hits him hard at the 43-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. Makes it out to about the 49. That makes it second and two. And he's immediately tackled. Throws out on a leaping interception by the corner. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. And that's a heck of a play for a freshman. This kid has got some athleticism. Man left, man left. From their own 39-yard line. It's first down. Nebraska is up by three. Nice run, and he's brought down. And they'll get him in the backfield. He gets to about the 41 yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. 
That brings him second and five. Nice run there. Gets out to around the 22. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's taken down at the 10. Nebraska is up a field goal. Gets out to about the nine-yard line. Kirk will get a player down, obviously in some pain. It's the 11th play of the drive. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And he adds the extra point. It was an 11 play, 61 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Taken from the three-yard line. And he's tackled at the 28. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. There's a the play fake. Plenty of time in the pocket. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. From their own 28-yard line, second down. The Cornhuskers had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Gets out to about the 31. That's a game of three on the play. That makes it very necessary. He scrambled. Slides down to the ground. Kinney is the putter. Pushed out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Brought down in the open field. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Brought down around the 39-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. There's a 
strike complete. He gets hit out of bounds at the 31. That makes it third and three. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game of six on the play. First down. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From the 21 yard line, it's second down. Let's go, let's go. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, Here we go. Come on. He's tackled at about the 11. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down. He is drilled at the 15. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. So at the end of the third quarter, Nebraska leads it 10-0. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. From the 15 yard line, third down. Gets it off as he's hit, complete. Man, do they need that stop. They had to get it back, give it to their offense. They've got the opportunity. That's all they could ask for. He gets it up, and he's got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 30. Nebraska's defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. Well, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively, and what it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Jackson makes the set tackle at the 31-yard line. Right, right, right. That makes it second and 10. Watch the take four, take four. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they push him out around the 37-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. Kinney awaits the snap. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. From the 15, he's tackled at the 19. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Makes it to the 27. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. At the 35-yard line. Game eight, eight on the play. play. That, that makes, makes it first, first and ten. 
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. Less than three minutes in the game. He makes it to the 38-yard line. He goes right around the 50. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Up the middle for a nice game. Washington gets about four yards on the play. The Buffaloes are going to call their second timeout. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Here, the receiver needs to do a better job of holding his block on the corner, or there's no place for the ball carrier to go. Craig, Craig 18, Craig 18. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. Armstrong going to try to kick this one deep. Let's see if he can get it inside the five. Punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. I tell you what, this is something Pollock could love. Crunch time in a defensive battle. Well, he's sitting back at that studio loving this. Two defenses that are really imposing their will on these two offenses. Maybe they can even score to help out one of these offenses win the game. Just over a minute left. He's under some heat. Throws it deep. Can't connect. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. It's second and 10. Ball on the 20. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at the 18-yard line. That's a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. He's out to the 30, and they make the stop around the 34-yard line. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. Going long. And he's tackled at about the 29-yard line. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver, but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. And he stops the clock with a spike. From the 29-yard line, second down, five wide. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. He heaves it to the end zone. Touchdown, Buffaloes. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. 
Nebraska up six. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. And so that's going to do it. The Cornhuskers come out on top, 13-7. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Nebraska comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curve Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.